Lancaster, I'm sorry. So this is a video of me wanting to apologize to my friends from Lancaster to clarify some things that I believe, uh, what I was trying to say, and to invite feedback and conversation about something that applies to a lot of my viewers. So a couple months ago, I posted a video called Christopher Slams Lancaster County, and I had a thumbnail that said the exact same thing. And the content of the video was to encourage people to get outside of their comfort zones, outside of their communities, and to see the world, to meet people, to uh, get gain experience. I happen to pick on Lancaster, and if you're not familiar with uh, Lancaster or Anabaptist culture, Lancaster is one. Lancaster County is one of the highest density populations of Mennonites, Amish, Beachy Amish, uh, Anabaptist crowd. There's several other in the countries. I'm sure there's a couple more that, that are maybe high, higher density, but Lancaster is the one that has gotten the primary stereotype that people kind of poke fun at of for the people there not getting out or being in a bubble or whatever. It's not true. For most Lancastorians, I know some very, very good people from Lancaster. Some of the most passionate, God-fearing, uh, enthusiastic, uh, evangelical people I know are from Lancaster County, Anabaptists from Lancaster County. And so it's very much of a stereotype and in many ways a missed place stereotype for some people. For other people, it's a very true stereotype, uh, just to be honest. But uh, it, it's, kind of, it's kind of a joke. Um, but for the people of Lancaster, as I've gotten to know them better, and I have family there and other people who, who know people there, you know, I've, I've come to realize that it's a very frustrating stereotype for more and more people. And that it's, it's the joke is kind of old, um, it's not even true for, for people anymore. And so it can kind of come through in bad taste. And so when when I was making this video, I was, yeah, like I said, I was in, wanting to encourage people to get outside of their neighborhoods and to go see the world. Not condemning them for living there or anything like that, but just that the world is big. Uh, go explore it. Go see it. Gain experience. And so what... In, I, I put the title there as kind of tongue-in-cheek, Christopher Slams, Lancaster County. I, I have relatives there, I have good friends there, um, and so it, it wasn't meant to come through as a actual slam, but it was just more, you know, it was, it was something to grab people's attention, but it, but it was tongue-in-cheek. The problem that, that I'm learning as a communicator and a creator on YouTube is that you have to be very careful about humor st humor style and and things that you say because people don't always think like you and people don't always get your humor and especially that kind of subtle humor if people don't know me they're not gonna get it and sometimes even if they do know me it still comes through in bad taste and I think that's what happened with a lot of people on that video anyways recently uh, someone brought it back to my attention someone that I, I respect and uh, he just mentioned that maybe it, you know, it doesn't come through the way that I would want it to come through, or that that it that it leaves a bad taste in people's mouths, and so, you know, the true heart of what I'm saying gets lost because I I came through in bad taste, and that's that's something that I care about because, you know, one thing on the channel that I want to cultivate is is a positive. Outlook, not a defensive outlook. Uh, that's something that I've struggled with my tagline. Christianity isn't boring. That's that's very much of a defensive uh, outlook, and and I don't really like that. I, I think Christian, popular Christian culture has a very defensive, insecure outlook on on life and culture and and our faith, and I, I don't think that's the way it should be. My tagline for the channel just happens to be the best way I can wrap up everything that we're trying to communicate into three words. Christianity isn't boring. Uh, following God isn't boring. I want to encourage us to, to go out and pursue the heart of God. And and that was the heart of my Lancaster video as well. But it's, I think, I'm saying this off the top of my memory, but 
I think it's the only video that is negative in nature. And really, you know, it's, it's just the title and the thumbnail that was that was negative. Um, the, the content of the message was still, you know, I think fairly positive and humorous and uh, that's what I was meaning for it to come through. Maybe, and you know, the problem with the title and the tagline is that's the first thing people see and so they come at it kind of defensive um, and so then they don't see the humor in the content and that's that's all on me that is that's not I'm not gonna say that viewers need to have a different perspective or anything like that that's all on the content creator because we as communicators and as youtubers we need to take that into consideration and we need to you know take care that people can come through not on the defensive but but able to receive what we're saying and I think I can say fairly confidently that's the only video that has a kind of a negative nature about it or a critical nature um, and I'm not afraid of stepping on people's toes I'm not afraid of becoming unpopular because of something I say or anything like that I just don't want to unnecessarily offend people even the way that we say truth can sometimes unnecessarily offend people and I think this is an example of it uh, the the encouragement is to all of us even people here in LA we struggle with being in a bubble we struggle you know so I've, I know some people who haven't even got outside of their zip code in LA or outside of their neighborhood and and so there's it's definitely a worldwide struggle it's not just a Lancaster struggle it's not just an Anabaptist struggle it's it's a human struggle that we tend to get put in our bubbles and and it's hard for us to break out and, and that's um, I forget where I was going with that so yeah that that was that was the the, the theme of the video what the, the drive the point that I was trying to drive home was that we need to get out we need to explore we need to pursue the heart of God in adventurous courageous uh, out-of-the-box ways not that um, we need to go outside of Orthodox theology but that that God created the whole world let's go find his heart let's go search after his heart because in the world we'll find and discover more about God by viewing his nature uh, his his people other cultures we're gonna discover more about God and, and obviously you know just a caveat all of that needs to be in the context of what we know as truth um, from the scripture you know that, that's a given or should be given it's not always and so yeah that's the theme in the my phone died while I was up on the mountain so I had to come back home and finish the video down here so yeah I want to hear from you guys what what are your guys thoughts about this especially those of you from Lancaster how do you feel about the stereotype and, and what are some things that you would like to correct the world about the Lancaster stereotype or if you're from any community that tends to get stereotyped a lot uh, what are some things that you would like to correct about the stereotype or or yeah what, what are some fr frustrations that you have about the stereotypes the jokes that you guys get subjected to a lot or even about the the title like what would have you done differently uh, in the video or wh what would have you liked to seen different about the video uh, how could have I uh, made a video that that drove home my point while also not isolating a group of people or maybe you're from Lancaster and you had no problem with the video I'd love to hear your thoughts as well I, I just I'm interested in hearing feedback and um, yeah I want to I want this channel to to be the best that it can possibly be and uh, it's not it's not just something that's isolated to me or Austin or or anyone else um, this is <clears throat> this is something that this I, I want to have conversations and I want to have an engagement between you guys and us so uh, yeah feel free to share your thoughts um, it will make a difference because it will influence what I how I approach in the future there's something else I was gonna say but I forget what it was so I guess we'll just leave it at that <clears throat> thanks for watching guys in case you missed any of the other videos uh, feel free to to click anywhere on this screen I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it uh, Austin's last vlog it was really good uh, just talking about what it looks like to be moving into a new house and into a new community and um, just some of his thoughts about that you can check out my last video by clicking on the busking video uh, me and my friend 
Andrew went out on the street and played some music. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already so that you don't miss any of our videos. Hit that little bell uh, to be notified of every video that we put up. And again, thanks for watching. Thanks for being who you are. Thanks for journeying with us through this journey of a, of a YouTube channel. Thanks, guys. God bless you. Take care. And for this, I'm not fit for the task to craft words with adequate passion to match the size of grace beyond anything I could grasp. But it grabs hold of me, so I hold on tight and hug it back. Surrounded by grace that surpasses the past beyond anything we could hope for or ask. How can words describe the word made flesh? The best way to understand him is to understand his death. What he set to accomplish and fulfilled with every step. He was sent from the Father, God's gift to the world. Gave his only son to purchase sons and daughters to make Make us one with the Son and one with the Father. Took upon himself the condemnation we deserved. Resurrected after death and he promised to return. Filled us with the Spirit to seal our election and protect us until the day that we share in his resurrection. The size of grace, how great the size. The gates of heaven are open wide. And people of all kind are welcome inside. Should have been denied, but instead God replied. He said, in your place my son has died. His death gave you life, it's the size of grace. Innocent blood that was shed to erase Every trace of sin for a chosen race It's the great exchange, it's power to change The gospel, salvation for all who believe All for his glory Overcoming our hatred and sin with his divine love The love of our God, gracious and kind God became a man and suffered for mankind The punishment for our sin was poured out on him So we could be forgiven and forever live Saved by grace, the cost was not cheap We can't add to it, his work is complete The greatest gift we could ever receive Is the gospel salvation for all who believe So we pray for strength with the power of his Holy Spirit So that Christ may dwell in our hearts through faith That we would have the strength to comprehend Together with all the saints, the height, depth, and length The love of Christ that surpasses knowledge Filled with the fullness of God the size of grace.